Aaron Jones of the Green Bay Packers was carted to the locker room during Sunday's game against the Chargers. Welcome back everyone, my name is Dr. Stephen Wilson and the purpose of this channel is to better understand sports injuries. We'll go right to the replay here. Here we see Aaron Jones as the ball carrier where he runs into the interior of the Chargers defensive line with three defenders engaging him. First, I want to look at the defender who is on the ground. You can see how he has a hold of Jones's right foot and his foot is up off of the ground. That means in this moment, Jones's only base of support touching the ground is his left foot and leg. Two more defenders are then working together to bring Jones down to the ground, but in doing so, we can see how his left leg and knee are being bent in a very awkward position. His left foot is pointing slightly outward and being externally rotated. That means his lower leg and his tibia and fibula are slightly pointing outwards as well. All the while, the downward compressive force of the two defenders causes his knee to buckle, so to speak, with his left knee being forced to the inside. Whenever this happens, we call this a valgus force on his knee that forces the hinge joint of his knee to bend sideways into a fairly unnatural position. This downward pressure continues for a few moments before Jones is pushed backwards and is eventually brought down to the ground. Here Jones' leg, hip and back muscles would all be firing at once in order to maintain stability, but his left knee ligaments would also be under considerable pressure. On the anatomy model here, we can see the picture of the knee joint. To orient ourselves, we can see the thigh bone on top, which is called the femur, and the shin bone below called the tibia. In between these bones, we have a joint space of your actual knee. Your femur and your tibia are held together by a group of ligaments that connect your femur and tibia together, and that provides stability. Now remember, that stability works best when the knee is moving back and forth like a hinge. But when we apply a force from the outside with your tibia in external rotation, that is going to place stress on your medial collateral ligament and your anterior cruciate ligament, especially when your knee is bending into flexion. Also located between your femur and tibia is, of course, your meniscus, which is a smooth section of cartilage. So when we look back at the replay here again, we can see Jones's plant leg, his left leg, which is under a lot of compression because he has two defenders bringing him down. His left knee is being forced to the inside while his left foot remains fairly stationary. This valgus stress on his knee is going to compromise the ligaments in his knee, most likely his MCL and his ACL and possibly his medial meniscus as well. Aaron Jones will certainly undergo an MRI in order to determine the exact extent of the injury to his knee. I would say that unlikely this would be a season-ending injury.